0 to 100. I've talked about the concept of 0 to 100 in one of our videos and I think a lot of people liked it. So I want to talk about it again. You see, it's very important for you as a potential entrepreneur to understand that entrepreneurship is not the process of turning 50 to 100. Entrepreneurship is the process of turning 0 to 100. If I can convince the whole world to understand this simple concept, we'll have too many companies this time next year. You see, the reason why most people cannot be an entrepreneur is that they are waiting for the 50 they will turn to 100. When people wait for the 50 they will turn to 100, most times they will not see the 50 and then they will make excuses that the reason why they can't start a business is that they don't have money. No, you don't need to have money to build a business. You just need to learn and know how to turn 0 to 100. How do you turn 0 to 100? My life was drastically changed around the year 2007-2008. What happened was that for the first time in my life, I came across the concept of OPM, other people's money. I later understood OPT, other people's time and OPB, other people's brains. When I understood these concepts, I was born into a new world, a new world of unlimited possibilities. Instead of thinking and worrying about what I didn't have, I instead started learning how to get what I didn't have from the people who have it. Isn't that interesting? What if you can learn how to get whatever you need from the people who do have it? What if you can get all the money you need to start a business from the people who have the money? What if you can get all the time you need to build a company from the people who have it? What if you can get all the brain power you need from the people who have it? Yes, you actually can get everything you need to start a business from the people who do have those things. I'm not telling you motivational words here. I'm telling you about the game I've played for 11 years. I took myself from extreme poverty to a reasonable wealth just by learning how to get whatever I needed from whoever has it. If you can get everything you need from the people who have them, you won't complain that you didn't start a business because you didn't have money. The Impossible World Yesterday, I was listening to Gary V here on YouTube and I heard him saying, you always see what you're looking for. This statement resonates so much with me because I grew up from one of the most negative society you can ever imagine. I'm an African and if you're an American or European watching this video, I'm sorry, there are no words for me to describe the kind of society where I grew up. You just can't understand. I mean, a world where almost everyone I knew believed that they were in hellfire. The world where the media never writes or say any positive thing about. The world where nobody in your family will ever encourage you to do anything extraordinary. But in this very world, I decided to look for the possibility of building a company even though I had no money. I learned about negotiation. I read about humans and the way their brains work. I read tons of books about business, life and how people rose from 0 to 100. As I read, I took actions. As I took actions, I made mistakes and failed. The more I acted, the more I got feedback in form of mistakes and the better I became. Napoleon Hill said, there are too many resources in the world for those who know how to get it and I can tell you that that's true. At a point in my entrepreneurial life, I had to reject someone who wanted to invest in my business because I already had more than enough money from someone else. But again, someone will watch this video and say, well, that's not possible in my country. Well, you will always see what you look for. Whatever you believe is possible is what you will learn how to achieve. If I don't believe that it's possible to build a company without money, I wouldn't wake up every day to learn how to achieve it. If you think it's not possible to get all the resources you need to start a business from others, I respect your opinion and wish you good luck. The world needs proof. I've met so many people who wanted to start a business and said, no one helps me. The question I ask them is, how have you proved that you believe in your vision? You see, I've often said it on this channel that nobody cares about you 
and many people have misinterpreted that for what I didn't mean. When I say that nobody cares about you, I don't mean that people don't love you. I instead mean that every human thinks about themselves first and you only come second. You're the only person that can think about you first. So don't ever expect that anyone else believes in you when you've not shown that you believe in yourself. If you want to see what I'm seeing in the practical sense, I appeal to you to watch Shark Tank. Shark Tank is a TV show where entrepreneurs try to get investors to invest in their business. Watch the show and notice the kinds of businesses these investors invest in. Two things become obvious. First, sharks never invest in any idea except to perceive that the owner of the idea believes in his idea. Second, how they know you believe in your idea is that you have done something about it. You have started it in a little way, you have tested the market and you have proof that people want your product. Most people who want to start a business don't believe in their business idea. This shows in fact that you do nothing about the idea. If you believe in your business idea, you have the courage that requires you to start in a small way, study your industry and know what nobody else knows about that business idea. If you believe in your business idea, you wake up every morning to do something about it. And when you fail, you'll never give up because you really believe that your idea can change some lives. Enthusiasm is contagious. When you believe in your own business idea so strongly, you have the power to make other people to believe in it. And when other people believe in it, they will be willing to support you to accomplish the mission. Building a skyscraper from the middle Remember the story I told you at the beginning of this video. The boy wanted to build a skyscraper but he didn't want to start with a single block. Most potential entrepreneurs are like that boy and that's why they never get anyone to support their vision. Again, entrepreneurship is not about turning 50 to 100, it's about turning 0 to 100. Do you want to build a skyscraper? You have to first believe in that vision. You have to first believe that building a skyscraper will make the world a better place. Then, go and buy the first block. If you don't have money to buy a block, go and do hard labor to get the money. Make the one block two and two blocks four. Make four blocks eight and make eight blocks sixteen. As you're building, keep on learning and believing. Read books from the people who have achieved what you want to achieve and learn about the subject an average man won't care about. Learn about human psychology, negotiation and marketing. Learn about human relationship and leadership. If you don't know books you should read on these subjects, search Google for best books on any one of these. As you struggle to build one block and another and learn, then try and persuade people to support your vision. Please note, you don't try and persuade people to support non-existing businesses because no reasonable person will support such. You can only get people to support you with 100,000 blocks after you've already gotten 100 blocks on your own because your action is the sign that you have faith in yourself. If you can't figure out how to labor hard to get 100 blocks on your own, nobody will support you to get 100,000 blocks you need to build that tall building. And yes, when you try and get the resources you need from other people, you'll be met with a lot of rejections. Don't take it personal and don't assume that nobody wants to help you because someone is waiting for you. The summary of the whole matter is this, you always get what you look for. If you believe that you are doomed and you can't start a business since you don't have money, you have enough evidence to support that. If you believe that nothing in the world can stop you from building a company, being broke cannot stop you. I rest my case.